Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, we're going to open in about five minutes, so I'll keep this pretty short. Uh, you know, we're at a point now up at 1973-1974 where that high up there, the 1985-75, is going to begin to act like a magnet. Um, and what I mean by that is there becomes a certain time when price gets you know, within 10 to 15 handles of a high, an established high. And from 1985, uh, going all the way down to 1890, that's, you know, that's a 95 handle move. So 1985-75 is most certainly an established high. It gets to a point where after bouncing and then rallying so close to that high that price tends to want to test that area to see if it's real. Is 85.75 a real high? Can we make a double top there? Or is it just the latest in a series of highs during the course of this uptrend? So uh, I took I took another piece off of my long this morning up at 73 quarter. I'm long from 43 quarter. I still have some left and I really don't intend on getting out of it until uh, you know, we at least see if that's a double top up at 86. My full expectation is that we go up and touch the upper band there up around, well, currently it's 1994.60. And, you know, before you say, whoa, 1990, whoa, what, 1995? It's like, well, think about it. We went all the way down and we rode the lower band. We bounced. A bounce turned into a rally. We tried to stop at the 50, didn't work. We tried to stop at the middle band, didn't work. They tried to flush it out from 61 to 37. In doing that and in bouncing it from there, two things have occurred. Number one, all this overbought energy allegedly, that got washed out of the market on Friday. Number two, this move down on Ukraine, you can't tell me that that didn't catch a lot of people short who are still short, that are getting squeezed out, that are getting pushed out, even as we speak. So now, you know, through yesterday, we confirm middle band as support. We closed above. We moved higher. So, you know, it's just the dominoes are falling in succession. And we've seen these dominoes fall time and time again during the course of this uptrend. And the dominoes lead to a test of that high. And the next domino after that is upper band. There's, I mean, you know, we, we have all seen this movie before. So you can do one of two things. You can be long and trade in and out of it. Um, you can fight it which a lot of people are doing right now, and, and you should honestly be planned, you, you better plan to fight it all the way up to 1995 area because if this plays out the way other things have, this could just keep on going. There'll be some dips along the way, and I guarantee you the dip buyers are waiting. I, I'm expecting a dip this morning. I think we're going to get a little bit more of a two-sided day today, and that's a chance to you know to find a dip. 63 is an area I'd be looking at as, as a potential dip area uh, today. Uh, that you could get into on a long, but um, you know, or door number three is you could stand aside, and standing aside can be frustrating, but it's better than fighting it. So for now, th there's no reason to expect anything but the typical playbook. Okay, that's the opening bell. Everybody have a great one. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Come check out the chat room. This is the time to come and take a trial. You will be uh, a trial member with 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 a, a lot of other trial members who are just starting and, and you can all learn together, go through, go through your trial together and do what a lot of people do, which is stick with us and trade this stuff every day. All right, take care. Have a good one. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well.